Here's Chief Meteorologist Chris Boone. So earlier this morning, you may have noticed a few isolated showers as a kind of line of showers kind of moved across the Concho Valley from the west towards the east. Again, more of a symbolic gesture from the atmosphere. Didn't see any significant rainfalls with it, but did again pick up about a hundredth of an inch out at the airport. Again, not a lot of rain. We're really starting to expect those rain chances to pick up as we get in towards the weekend. But the dry line did slide further towards the east and see those drier conditions. Again, starting to see those showers and thunderstorms kind of develop further towards the northeast and towards the Red River valley up and towards Texoma seeing some of those thunderstorms develop here in the Concho Valley not so much again seeing mostly clear skies across the area seeing a passing cloud here and there but fairly quiet conditions as we go into the evening and overnight hours we'll really see those rain chances kind of ramp up as we get in towards your Friday afternoon and evening hours certainly a warm one across the area temperatures running about 10 degrees above average again topped out at 97 96 right now in downtown San Angelo and much drier we saw the dry line push further towards the east those dew points dropped from the 50 down into the 20s, so drier conditions as the dry line sits to the east of us. Dew points only into those mid 20s. And those winds out of the southwest at 14 miles per hour, though we will see that moisture make its return as we get in towards tomorrow. 90s for most of the Concho Valley. Again, 96 in Ballinger, 93 in Coleman, a couple 80s still hanging out into the Concho Valley, 89 degrees in Brady. Same with Big Lake, also at 89 degrees. Everybody else looking at at least 90 degrees or higher for the area. As we continue into the evening hours, still hanging on to the mostly clear skies. The winds out of the south, generally about 5 to 10 miles per hour. We'll see them take a slight break as you get into the overnight hours. The temperatures drop back, back down into the 60s. And then tomorrow, well, that's where we start to see the change in the pattern. We'll see those temperatures warm up into the mid-90s once again. We'll be watching for where those thunderstorms kind of develop because as we can see them develop uh, with that afternoon heating, we'll see them kind of fire up through the late afternoon and early evening hours. 70% chance of some of those showers and thunderstorms. We'll be watching for the possibility of some of those thunderstorms could be severe. So we'll be watching for uh, the possibility of some hail as well as some localized flooding again with the individual thunderstorms. So again, we'll be watching for uh, the gusty winds as well with these storms again to a now, two out of five for our uh, severe weather outlook. I'm getting a slight category for the entire Concho Valley. So it becomes a lot more widespread as we get in towards your Friday. And then that's going to continue to linger. So we start to see those showers really start to pop up into the afternoon hours on Friday. More widespread in nature going into the evening and overnight hours. Still seeing that intensity for the possibility of severe storms. Carries in towards Saturday morning as well. As you start to get later in towards Saturday, you start to see that energy spread out. That cuts down on the severity, cuts down on the risk for hail and the winds. But more widespread in nature. See those rain chances basically across the entire state of Texas as we get in towards your Saturday, going in towards Sunday. Still looking at plenty of rain chances across the area and not seeing as much yellow. So again, that cuts down on the severity, but again, we will see the possibility for some localized flooding should those storms really kind of pop up and hang on. So we'll be watching for uh, the potential for some flooding over the next couple of days, going into the beginning of next week as well. Again, Monday, Tuesday, we'll start to see it begin to break up a little bit, starting to dry things out. Those showers become a lot more isolated and scattered in nature, not nearly as widespread as what we're kind of seeing for the weekend. That continues going in towards next week as well. So again, some beneficial rain. We'll start to see it dry up, but just a bit by the middle of next week. Rain totals, we could be seeing the bullseye for the best rain totals further towards South Texas, but here in the Concho Valley, still could be picking up anywhere between two and a half to four inches of rain for much of the area, and that's certainly going to be welcome news for those drought conditions, though, again, it's going to be a little bit hit or miss, so it's not going to be a very widespread event as far as everyone getting three inches, but certain spots could get three inches. Well, the town next to it might not get anything. It may come in all at once. So flash flooding tips again, turn around, don't drown. If you do come up to a flooded roadway, do not proceed. Find another route. Again, we'll continue to see the possibility for flash flooding into the weekend. And again, those low lying areas certainly more prone to flooding when you see those heavy rain showers. Don't forget we have winning with the weather. Again, we'll be giving away this splash and slide on Friday, tomorrow. Again, we'll be out at location and we'll be giving away some rain chances for basically the entire Concho Valley really ramping up as we go in towards your Mother's Day weekend with those cooler temperatures to start next week. This week's Winning with the Weather Prize is provided by Concho Valley ER.